Hello everybody, welcome to Joyce Daughter of God on YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is July 12th, 2023 and today's daily scripture readings are found in Acts chapter 5 verses 27 through 32 and Matthew chapter 26 verse 41 and as always we are getting started with the index scripture first. So Acts chapter 5 starting at verse 27 and the word says and when they had brought them they set them before the council and the high priest asked them saying did we not strictly command you not to teach in this name and look you have and look you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood on us but Peter and the other apostles answered and said we ought to obey God rather than men the God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you murdered by hanging on a tree. Him God has exalted to his right hand to be prince and savior, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses to these things. And so also is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. Amen. And on the index card, I reiterated verse, verse 29. But Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Amen. So now we are going to Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. So Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. And Jesus is telling us, Watch and pray lest you enter into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak again watch and pray lest you enter into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak i'm going to read this one more time because this is something for all of us and yes that is me included that we really need to take heed to these words that Jesus is telling us to do and apply them to our lives. Watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Now, why was he saying that to his disciples? We can go back to verse 40. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, what could you not watch with me one hour and then that's when verse 41 comes when he says watch and pray lest you enter into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak and then we'll go down to verse 42 again a second time he went away and prayed saying oh my father if this cup cannot pass away from me unless i drink it your will be done Verse 43, and he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. So he left them, went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. So we just all need to remember to watch and pray lest we enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So it's like our spirit, it's willing. It wants to pray. It wants to be watching. But our flesh sometimes overtakes it. And we, I know I'm, I'm guilty of this so many times. We allow our physical body to take over what our spiritual what our spirit needs because we are tired and we just want to go to bed or we start to pray and sleep just overcomes us so yes it's like this scripture always gets me because i find myself in this a lot so i'm so grateful that the lord has reminded us that we need to watch and pray lest you enter into temptation 
The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Amen. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night whenever you come across this video. God bless each and every one of you all. Take care. Bye.